Um, in goal, you have Besko back. Everyone in the league knows him and what he's capable of. How huge is he for your team? Yeah, he's very big. You know, obviously, what he did for us uh, a few seasons ago in, in you know, backstopping us to a Challenge Cup and a, a League Cup and uh, obviously just narrowly missing out on the playoffs and, and the Continental Cup final. So uh, we know we know exactly what he's capable of and that's a big reason why we, we targeted him. And obviously, we've brought in Jackson Whistle as well and um, I think they'll be a great tandem and great inner competition. Uh, for the starting job and and for you know getting as many starts as possible. So um, and then also you know obviously with the uh, you know the long returning uh, Northern Irish Andrew Dixon, you know it's a great uh, great threesome to have back there, and uh, they work well together, and we're looking forward to getting going. Just just to add to Basco coming in as player coach. Was that something that he approached you about? Did you approach him about it, or how did that come about? Yeah, just through negotiations and, and talks with with Besco uh, over the summer about uh, you know getting him to come back, and and obviously you know he's very familiar with Belfast and, and he really enjoyed his time here before, and he was a big part of all the success that we had. So uh, it was no brainer to bring him back, but also you know we have to keep in mind that uh, he didn't play last season. And, um, you know, obviously has one one eye uh, on retirement or you know life after hockey, and, and you know coaching is something he was interested in. So, um, you know, we came to agreement to to bring him on as part of the coaching staff, and I think he'd be a very valuable uh, member to us, and he'll actually teach us a lot. Uh, you know, with his unique perspective of you know the systems and especially obviously the D zone. Um, you know how he sees the game and where he sees the holes and I don't know if we are continuously making a mistake it's another set of eyes um, you know from from a different perspective that can uh, you know, have a real voice in, inside the coach's room. If he's not playing are you going to have him behind the bench or are you planning on having him back up if Wiss is starting? It really depends on our roster situation uh, obviously um, we have the option to to put Dick Dicko in the net and uh, you know allow Tyler to to be on the bench with us um, if if we have that extra import to go in the lineup. So um, currently we don't. So uh, the plan is right now just to take it game by game, and I'm sure that uh, as we go throughout the season, uh, uh, things will adjust and uh, we'll figure out that plan exactly.